A lot of the ideas and findings we social psychologists thought were universal for many decades, it turns out may differ depending on the culture that we're talking about in important and interesting ways. We were focused in particular on this topic about people's consistency, how consistently they saw themselves a, cer a certain way across different situations. So for example, if I ask you, how extroverted are you with your friends or at a party or in the classroom discussions, do people think about themselves as being relatively high in extroversion across all these different kinds of situations? This is something that's really valued in American culture. People who aren't consistent across contexts, oh, you're extroverted one day but introverted the next, this person is two-faced, they're fake, they're chameleons, who are they really? Because our culture says it's so important to be consistent, nobody wants to be thought of as two-faced. When you think about yourself as consistent, you know, I'm consistently extroverted, I'm consistently agreeable or not agreeable or what have you, you tend to enjoy higher levels of well-being in our culture. In other cultures where it's so important to think about yourself in terms of how you're related to other people, who I am is so much a part of my relationship with my siblings or my relationship with my mom, when that's such an important part of who you are, being consistent is not really that important to your well-being. Saying that I'm extroverted with my girlfriends but introverted with my favorite teacher, that's not a problem. In cultures where it's so important to sort of tailor yourself to be recognizing that you need to be aware of your social context, thinking about yourselves in different ways across different contexts, in fact that is better for your well-being than having to be consistent across different contexts. So really, you know, a different way of thinking about cultural differences in the self, and in this case having consequences for something as fundamental as your well-being.